Assalamualaikum friend welcome to the Ghazian Zoologist today we are going to discuss about the external uh, structure and locomotion in reptiles uh, if you are new at here you can subscribe my channel also uh, there are a lot of videos uh, regarding this chapter and chapter 17 chapter 18 chapter 19 and this is chapter 20 you can uh, visit them uh, and uh, so let's uh, begin our uh, topic today uh, welcome to the Ghazi and Zara just once again uh, you know about uh, reptiles as they are creeping animals uh, reptiles reptiles these are creeping animals creeping and crawling animals creeping and uh, crawling animals crawling animals so uh, reptiles uh, they have modified modified external structure modified external structure because if we talk about amphibians uh, as they live in water and in uh, water and land both but uh, they mostly survive on the land uh, that's why there are a lot of adaptations uh, which are uh, present in them as uh, they have thick skin thick and dry skin thick and uh, dry skin but in the case of amphibians we discussed that uh, they have uh, moist skin and and it is keratinized keratinized and uh, you can uh, discuss about the belly of snake belly uh, belly scales of snakes snakes which hold them above the ground okay uh, which uh, with which uh, they uh, hold themselves with the substrate they attach themselves with the substrate okay and uh, one thing more that uh, uh, the reptiles they have uh, they also show the process of molting uh, show the process of uh, molting molting what does mean the sh uh, shedding of old skeleton okay uh, the shedding of old skeleton and formation of new skeleton shedding of old uh, skeleton and the formation and the formation of new skeleton of new skeleton this is called uh, molting or you can also call it as as ecdysis ec uh, sorry ec uh, dices I can make I can make a lot of mistakes uh, spelling mistakes okay <laughs> uh, don't take it seriously and uh, ecdysis you know uh, ecdysis is common in insect cells as, as well as arthropods uh, in, uh, I'm just talking about the molting uh, it is common in insects I mean arthropoda insects and and reptiles what did happen in uh, in the molting actually uh, the blood supply to the epidermis mean uh, the connection uh, when uh, the blood is supplied to the epidermis that is totally cut off okay uh, blood do not supplied to the epidermis when blood is not supplied to the epidermis then the epidermis cells epidermis cells ec i'm just uh, writing as ec epidermis cells uh, will die will die and they will they will be they will be uh, loosely attached loosely attached 
and uh, one thing more uh, the lymph lymph which may be a fluid lymph that causes uh, the looseness between outer epidermis outer epidermis epidermis and inner epidermis so i hope uh, it's visible from here epidermis so who is the matter uh, who what is the thing that is separating uh, outer epidermis from inner epidermis uh, that is a uh, lymph okay and uh, mostly uh, the uh, juvenile uh, animals juvenile reptiles anything which is juvenile juvenile insects you can uh, also talk about the uh, butterflies okay uh, they undergo uh, uh, molting or ecdysis uh, a lot of times before they uh, j uh, they convert into an adult animal juvenile juvenile uh, show a rapid process of molting rapid process of molting molting okay and uh, if we talk about the coloration there is a great coloration uh, diversity in coloration of uh, reptiles uh, you can talk about chameleon chameleon is a reptile which show a lot of uh, colors uh, due to its uh, uh, different environmental factors due to prey uh, because it changes itself according to its situation its environment okay uh, coloration uh, there may be a cryptic coloration cryptic coloration cryptic coloration aposmetic coloration aposmetic uh, coloration and even you can talk about uh, uh, mimicry mimicry okay uh, these all exist in uh, in their coloration they show different uh, color uh, colors why because they want to get rid of their predators and uh, they, uh, they hide themselves from the different predators predators okay and one thing more uh, their skin is glandu uh, glandular uh, glandular skin uh, I, I was forget to tell you about it uh, glandular skin they uh, secrete different kinds of hormones uh, fre sorry, pheromones. Pheromones. Pheromone is something which affect uh, the behavior of another animals. You can watch uh, this video, my this video on uh, animal behavior playlist. Okay, uh, what uh, what is pheromones uh, and different parts uh, types of pheromones? You can watch my video on YouTube. Okay, uh, glandular skin pheromones. Uh, they produce pheromones uh, and pheromones are uh, used for different purpose. Uh, there are uh, a lot of pheromones uh, regarding the. Uh, showing a uh, sex recognition okay uh, mating behavior uh, they are involved in uh, sex recognition recognition and they also uh, release pheromones to regulate the temperature i hope it is visible here i'm, I'm just writing here uh, regulation of uh, temperature okay so this was our a little bit a little topic and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, Vazi and Zalajast I'm saying once again and uh, I know that you do not share my videos uh, so just like the video I hope uh, and inshallah we will meet you meet with you in next video okay Allah Hafiz